Okay, hi. Welcome back to the Voxel File channel. My name is Bryn, and since I had last left off with the automatic synchronization of the GPU library, I have fully moved all of the world generation code onto the graphics card, which brings massive parallel performance that can be reaped as very quick load times and very um, quick simulation of the game world. Uh, what I've also done is I've also implemented physics, among other things which I won't go into. But physics is definitely the major one, and I definitely should show. So if I go into the game, you can see the world loads extremely quickly, and I also fall down. Um, the world is 1024 by 1024, and it, it just loads so quickly. Usually this would take 30 seconds on a CPU. Um, but now it takes like three or four seconds. Uh, and you can see I can walk around, I can jump. It's starting to become a fully Minecraft-like first-person game. Um, you can see there's a slight fog effect that occludes the distance. I think it adds a nice touch. And uh, I guess I'll just speak about what I want the future of this game to be. So I was thinking something that would be in the scope of possibility that I can do uh, would either be a space game or a zombie game. And I'm leaning towards zombies. So with relevance to that idea, some of the ideas that I've had is potentially implementing a neural network, a very simple neural network that doesn't directly control the movements or the actions of the zombie characters or the zombie enemies, but rather just acts as the hind mind of the zombie and potentially leads it to have interesting decisions. Um, some other things I want to do is I want to have very accurate um, bullet simulation in the physics world, so I want the bullets to actually be simulated. Um, that will be true for the entire game, so I want the entire game to be simulated, I want it to have a very high skill ceiling, and I want the game to um, be potentially competitive. Um, I want the game to be a roguelike, so I want it to be like you're born once, you play through that playthrough, and then you die, and then you have to create a new character. Um, since I want a persistent world, I think then you'll be able to go and you'll collect, you can potentially collect um, your belongings from your last run if you can find them, but the world will be very massive, so that might be difficult to do. And since the game will be centered around defending a base, uh, your previous defenses, unless left unmanned and thus um, eventually they will decompose and no longer work, um, right after your death your base will still be operational likely, and so uh, it would be difficult to collect from. Uh, but that's just some of my thoughts on uh, what I want to do. I have so many more thoughts on what the potential future of this game is. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep releasing technical updates, um, just milestones as they come, uh, s with relevance to creating a general voxel engine. So I'm not in the stage where I'm going to create the game yet. The engine still needs some more work in order for it to be fully fleshed out and uh, able to potentially make a game. Um, but if that sounds interesting, then please feel free to do the YouTube thing and of course uh, let me know any of your ideas, your thoughts, your concerns and besides that, that's all from me. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, potentially the next video will be a more technical deep dive into potentially how physics work or I might decide to, one, uh, to do one on the graphics library. But nevertheless, thank you so much. I've taken up enough of your time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.